this video, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about profiles and functions within Lynx Electronics. Uh, you'll find Lynx Electronics on our TDX SP2 as well as the Aviva FX front wheel drive wheelchair from Indicare. Um, I want to start out by clearing up a little bit of language. Uh, there are four different electronics platforms across the country that we are used here in the United States. Three of them call things profiles, others call things, uh, you know, have other names for things. And so I want to just make sure that before we start that we're all talking and understand what we're talking about when we talk about profiles and functions. So um, a profile is nothing more than a container. Uh, it is simply a place to hold actions or things. So if you think of it like folders on your computer, we put in documents all related to uh, you know, an upcoming show, or we put documents related into a training that we're doing, and, and each folder is a container, and it contains these different things. Um, a profile on a wheelchair is exactly that. It is a container or a space that holds and organizes the actions and the things that the wheelchair can do. The things that are contained within a profile have a name as well. So we have the profile that's the container, and then we have what's inside that profile, which are those actions of the wheelchair. We call those actions functions within links. Other electronics platforms call them modes. They are the same. It's just a different name. But it can get confusing because we have profiles and functions, and other electronics have profiles and modes, and another one has drives and modes. And so when we start talking about modes and profiles and functions, people get a little confused. So I want to make sure within links, we're talking about a profile that contains functions. You will also hear people call our functions cards. Um, and you probably hear me call them cards in other videos because um, when you change them, as you'll see in another video, they, they kind of look like a stack of cards. And so they get referred to as cards as well. Visually, they kind of look like a card. Um, earlier, I talked about some rules that profiles have and the different electronics have. Rules about how many profiles you can have altogether. Rules about how many functions or modes can be in a profile, rules about whether or not you can repeat a function. I want to tell you the rules of links. Links rule is this. You can have 40 functions. That's it. 40 functions. Divide them up however you want. Put all 40 in one profile. Put 40 profiles with one function. It doesn't matter. Um, 40 functions is a lot. You're not going to use 40 functions but it gives you plenty of room to divvy them up and, and, and put them into different organizational structures that you want. So you might have, you know, functions to do one thing and another group of functions to do another. So um, that's uh, the only rule really that there is with links is that you have 40 functions and you're allowed to do whatever you want with them. Repeat them, whatever you want, okay? This ability to customize and really design this system with your patient is pretty significant in terms of how it works for the patient. So the freedom to create that interaction for and with the patient so that it is exactly the way they want it to be is really something that uh, can, I think, change the landscape of how our patients actually interact with their power wheelchairs. So in the next couple videos, you're going to see how to program, specifically programs and functions, move them, delete them, shift them around, make new ones, um, how to actually perform that. And then there'll be another video that uh, goes into how some examples of how we might create profiles and functions for different diagnoses and for different patient scenarios. So um, check those out if you're really interested in just how powerful this ability within links is for your patients.